people who are into biking are generally really into it, spending thousands of dollars on road bikes and mountain bikes and accessories, trying to get the perfect riding experience. But getting a bike customized to your exact specifications and riding style, that's always been a pipe dream. However, a small company in Watertown, Massachusetts is making it possible for cycling enthusiasts to get that much closer to achieving the perfect ride. It's common to see customized motorcycles, tricked out cars, or even personalized sneakers these days. But bicycles? And that was really sort of the inception or the idea behind Seven is individually customized bikes uh, using the highest tech materials available at the time and, and today. Most of us are used to walking into a bike shop, picking one out and taking it home. Seven Cycles in Watertown, Massachusetts is trying to change that. Seven Cycles started uh, 15 years ago. There was four of us that came together to um, take uh, a project that we had done previously in the high-end bike industry and uh, evolve it into full custom uh, in the high-end uh, bike market using sort of innovative materials in ways that hadn't been done before and applying customization in ways that hadn't been done before. The mission of Seven Cycles is to enhance the cycle experience through optimum fit. There's a hundred uh, data point questionnaire that we have that you fill out with the retailer um, they send it to us, then we interview the customer, collect more information, sort of refine the information, and then uh, develop the specs from there. And again, not just the fit, but the whole style of the bike, what it looks like, the aesthetics, the colors, the ride characteristic, all that kind of stuff. In order to get things just right, every Bicycle 7 makes goes through a painstaking, detailed manufacturing process, all done right in their facility. In trying to push the envelope and stand out from the crowd, Seven has experimented with and used many different materials to build its bikes. In our first year, we started working with carbon. We did these titanium carbon mixed bikes that was partially titanium, partially carbon tubing uh, bonded together um, that were, uh, again, at the time, very innovative and new. We still make a lot of those bikes today because um, they ride so well. They're very light, they're very durable. And more recently, in the past six years, we've been doing uh, full carbon bikes too. Um, and one of the things that's unusual about the way we do that and innovative is it's full custom and they have sort of a monocoque style look, sort of a, an aerodynamic look to them, but still full custom, which is very difficult to do. So we spent a couple years developing that technology and how to do that. In the quest to build the ultimate ride, Seven doesn't cut any corners, with durability being a big concern. We have a machine that we can put a full frame on and, and uh, sort of mimic what it goes through in the real world, but at a very accelerated rate. So in a two day span, we can get uh, the, the results of 10 or 20 years of riding um, through this testing machine. And that tells us, gives us a lot of feedback about uh, how product development, how we can remove weight from the frame, where we might want to add some durability or material to a frame, both for the life of the frame and then the ride characteristic of the frame. And it's unusual for a company our size to have a tool like that, and we use it quite a lot. Whether you're an aspiring pro or a weekend warrior, make no mistake about it, it's not cheap to ride off on a custom-built bicycle from Seven, but the company and its customers believe it's worth it. It's, it's hard to d define it into one category, but the, the largest category of customer is um, male uh, who doesn't have enough time to ride as much as they'd like. So they, they put a lot of emphasis on the quality of the, of the products that they use so that they have the best experience possible in the few hours that they have to ride. So people that are working too much uh, have families, so they're limited riding time, but just want to have the best possible experience. So they're willing to invest in both the product and the experience that'll, that'll get them that.